Hey, if you are also like myself, um, you know, really serious about growing, overcoming your limitations and moving forward in your life, then you probably have realized by now as well that this is often not as easy like we would like to think in our mind. You know, there's so many things that we would like to do, activities, habits that we would like to implement, and often we find that we ourselves are standing in our own way. So how can we break through this and move forward with our plans and push our growth to the next limit? So in this video I'm going to speak about exactly that question. Hi guys, this is actually a question that a, old, a former student of mine from India, Kushal, has sent me and I'm especially happy to hear from Kushal because he was my student for two years um, while I was in India in an ashram and also working as a teacher. I have still very nice memories of that time and I'm always happy uh, to be in touch with people from there. Thanks Kushal for sending in your question. I mean your question is really it's kind of tough because it's basically Kushal is saying that he wants to implement certain changes in his life. He, he wants to grow and move forward so let's say for example he's Oftentimes he feels like he's an impatient person and he would like to overcome that, become more patient, but then he feels like stuck and he's not able to overcome it. Or he would like to, you know, implement a certain discipline like getting up even earlier and doing more practices and exercise and yoga in the morning. And then he feels like the fire, the motivation is dying off and he's not able to consistently implement this. So his question is how to keep the fire up, how to keep the hunger up, implement it on a consistent basis. Yeah, this is like, you know, kind of the, the, the question basically <laughs> because it's not as easy like we have these ideals in our mind that we are aiming for and of course we have our limitations and you know if we could just overcome them like this then I don't know it would be too easy maybe or what's the reason but somehow it's not possible for us to just overcome them like that straight away I want to tell you that I'm not gonna have the golden recipe for you because many of the limitations you're talking about I myself am still facing and I'm not yet you know 100% disciplined or whatever I'm constantly like trying to push myself so I'm just gonna share a few things that I might think might be helpful for you the first thing I want to share with you is I think which something which helped me a lot is like to try to mindset shift you know I feel that oftentimes you know when in the past when I was trying to implement something like that like um, a new habit something that I planned and I wasn't able to execute on it then I would get really disappointed with myself I would kind of pull myself down and beat myself up about it that's just a very vicious circle because it pulls you down further and when you're like in a low emotional state the likelihood that you're going to be having a positive impact on your own life is much lower so the last thing we want to do is beat ourselves up about stuff like this you know I think we have to get this in our mind that first of all we have to accept where we currently are okay because only when we are com completely fine with that and we accept and see that we are we have certain limitations and even if we think we want to be perfect we have certain limitations right now so let's first find our peace with that situation this is just how it is right now so we have those limitations and we want to get beyond them so when we fail to implement something that we try to do let's not beat ourselves up but just you know we have to shift the way we look at it let's not like every single thing we fail at look at it as a big failure but instead and like think we are like a failure we are incapable no let's see it for what it is it is just a temporary defeat like any defeat if every time we fall we get back up it's just a question of time until we get there so let's look at it as a challenge as a game if we are like 
defeated temporarily, then let's take this and say, okay, didn't happen this time. But we have to get this mindset and we have to accept and embrace the fact that we have to work on ourselves. That this kind of personal growth thing, this development thing is going to be a lifelong pursuit. We're never going to be like perfect. Whenever we reach the next level, there will be the next limitation. Then we reach that level and then there will be the next limitation. Limitation by limitation, we try to overcome it until maybe at some point there's no more limitation left. But until then, it's just going to be a lifelong thing. So let's better get used to it, you know? Let's get used to this state of lifelong struggle and let's embrace it. Because that's how we grow, that's how we move forward. Let's embrace this first, okay? As a first step, as a mindset shift. Let's embrace the fact that this is going to be a lifelong journey and every failure is just a temporary defeat and we need to get back up and just keep working on it. It just means we are not yet there, so we keep pushing. Uh, there's no urgency, there is urgency, but like in a larger sense, you know, anyway, it's going to be a lifelong thing, so at least let's not beat ourselves up about it. Now, the second thing that I would like to suggest is ask yourself, and this question I think can be a complete game changer because it's also like I'm not giving you like too many specific like advices like this is how you're going to be able to get up at five o'clock or something like that I'm more giving of like uh, some kind of you know like a framework a mindset shift here so the second thing is is like a question which, which I think is like the ultimate question when it comes to personal growth it's like it can have like complete it can be a complete game changer so the question I think which we have to ask ourselves constantly is basically what is holding me back right now we have so many ambitions we have goals and we want to overcome certain limitations so let's just always ask ourselves what is holding me back it varies from person to person from situation from situation so we have to really look at it every time what is holding me back right now like what is my goal how am I going to get there and what's holding me back right now so if you're talking about like getting up earlier what's holding me back it might be a lack of motivation or it might be a lack of discipline it might simply be like some very you know bad habits like staying up too long you know I found myself some time ago where I was like binge watching some TV shows and like staying up really long and of course <laughs> that's not really gonna help uh, getting up early or eating very late we have to look at it especially when it comes to getting up early it's not very good to just you know rely on your motivation because when you get up in the morning at four or five o'clock like the motivation is like unstable at times so we really have to make sure that we kind of are in a very conducive uh, situation so just to talk about that specific example you know we have to look at it like maybe you're realizing okay if i want to get up at four i should sleep by ten or even nine o'clock to have like six seven hours solid sleep if you're not doing that then you have to reverse engineer it back so really look at your life look at your habits look at your like day-to-day -day schedule of the activities that you're doing and try to reverse engineer and like sometimes you might even have to trick yourself you might have to implement some certain hacks you know like some time ago like when I realized I'm using too much internet for like non-productive things I you know I told myself, okay, I'm gonna cut my internet connection at home completely. I'm gonna go on a digital diet. And what I did is I removed the cable because right now I don't have Wi-Fi here at home. So I have only the cable. I took the cable, removed it, put it out of my home. I actually kept it at some other place, at a friend's place, just to make sure that I'm not even gonna be tempted because I knew that my discipline is not 100% so why should I always be tempted sometimes it helps to just like make it easier for yourself don't even put yourself like it's the same thing like you know you don't want to eat sweets so better be a little disciplined when you go shopping then once you have them in the house it's much more difficult to not eat them than when you are shopping and you don't buy them same thing like uh, when you realize for example I'm staying up too long shut down the internet that might solve it try to implement certain habits in the evening Evening even like you know taking a walk that will help you to sleep better and then to get up earlier 
make sure you eat earlier. So you really have to look at it holistically, not only like in a very isolated way, but this is very specific now. The point is, ask yourself always for all situations, like what is holding me back and really look at it holistically. If it's motivation, then why are you not motivated? Like maybe is that what you're doing right now not even inspiring for you? Or if it's discipline, how, you, how could you make it easier for you? Like for example, removing the internet connection, not getting the food in the house, to make it easy for you to not like, you know, don't set yourself up for failure by making it too difficult for you, by being constantly exposed to all the things that you're trying to keep away from. Second advice is ask yourself always what is holding me back. And the third point I want to briefly speak about because you were talking about like you know how to keep the hunger and the fire up. So if like motivation is an issue one thing just very quickly is basically this guy over here. <laughs> so okay yeah, you got it. I bought that ring and put it on my finger because I want to never forget that I'm gonna die sooner than I think and I want to be constantly reminded of it, okay? So I'm like having cards on my boards and stuff of reminders in my whole flat and like I'm using these tricks, you know, just to stay on. If you constantly really live with that idea, not idea, it's not an idea, it's a fundamental reality that you're going to die, I think there's nothing more inspiring and motivating than that one fact. Again, do whatever it needs, like put reminders everywhere, just look at what it does to you if you're constantly reminded of that fact. And then just try to remind yourself more and more often and really try to base your activities on that feeling of what you experience when you are in that state where you're completely clear that you're just here man for like 80 years maybe and that's it and right now you're maybe like what are you 20 or not yet so you have maybe like one fourth if you're lucky and you get 80 you know there's many people who die before that but if you turn 80 that's like quarter of your life gone that's the quarter like of your best 40 years so you know it's like ticking. Be aware of that constantly. And this should be like, I mean, this for me is the ultimate motivation. This is why I got that ring. I'm thinking of getting it tattoo, but I'm not doing that. <laughs> but I just wanna make sure I never forget about it. Because only when you forget that one fact is when you get really stupid. Yeah, I think these three things, you know, they can give you like a framework you can work with. I hope this helps. Let me know, uh, send me a mail. Guys, leave a comment, like if this is uh, helpful for you. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and also uh, subscribe to the channel, okay? You can just click here, subscribe. I put out a new video every week. Right now these days they're mostly in German, but I try to keep up English videos as well. Especially if you guys send me questions, I'll make sure to make English videos as well. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching and I hope I see you again next week. Bye guys.